Well, a recent study in the American Academy of Pediatrics revealed a 1,300% increase in children under six ingesting edible cannabis products. And it's happening right here in Arkansas. Channel 7's Alicia Dover is on your side with a look at the problem and what parents need to know. Alicia. Well, there has been a noted increase in kids ingesting THC products. As a parent, I wanted to know what kind of products these young kids are getting their hands on and where it's coming from. Is this a medical marijuana industry problem? Just lazy parenting or something more? Well, the findings and the statewide change our investigation is leading to might surprise you. So it most commonly affects two and three year olds uh, because they're playful, they like to explore, they might confuse this with candy and often this looks a lot like candy. Dr. Ari Phillips says the state's Poison Control Center started tracking kids ingesting edible cannabis products in 2018. That year, there was only one report. But over the last five years, there's been a steady increase, with 43 cases reported in 2022. And so far this year, there have already been eight reports. Since last year alone, the number of cases has over doubled. <laughs> In December, January, and February, three Arkansas elementary schools had cases where THC candy-like products were brought by students and shared. Those incidents in Jonesboro, Little Rock, and Russellville. Russellville police officer Andrew Reeves says the products popping up seem similar. So the products we are seeing uh, here in town with our incident, and most likely some of the other towns, they are made to look like candy. Uh, they are almost a copycat of some popular brands out there. In those three school incidents, a total of 10 kids were taken to the hospital. Arkansas Children's Hospital Chief Pediatrician Dr. Okay. Rick Barr says despite misinformation online, THC ingestion can severely harm kids. It can progress to hallucinations, dehydration, even seizures. Kids can get really, really sick with an overdose of THC. Dr. Barr says most of the cases coming into the ER are from products in those colorful, enticing packages. We actually have about 30 to 40 kids a year that get hospitalized at Arkansas Children's after a THC overdose. And we know we have more kids than that presenting to the emergency room. So kids can get really, really sick, requiring hospitalization and sometimes even intensive care. <laughs> schools, the products were determined to not be Arkansas medical marijuana products, not made here or sold in Arkansas medical marijuana dispensaries. Arkansas law prohibits anyone from being in possession of any out-of-state marijuana products. That even applies to medical marijuana cardholders. In the Jonesboro incident, a 67-year-old woman has been charged with possession of a controlled substance and two counts of endangering the welfare of a minor. In Russellville, the case is being turned over to a prosecutor. We don't want these parents who have these kind of uh, products in their home or this kind of medication in their home to possibly find themselves criminally liable. So where are these products coming from? We took this question straight to Bold Cultivation, one of eight Arkansas companies licensed to grow and package medical marijuana. Spokesperson Robert Lurcher says the strict requirements they follow is keeping their products out of the hands of children. The state of Arkansas requires us to use 17.2 uh, CR uh, child resistant, which just makes it very, very difficult for a child to open the package. That's uh, the law in Arkansas. I tried opening three empty Arkansas produced packages. Admittedly, each product took quite a while for me to figure out. Okay, yeah, so that is difficult to get into. Arkansas law also states packaging and products cannot appeal to children. Extremely boring versus this package, I mean, what, which do you think a child's going to pick up first? Shockingly, the colorful products with characters, bright colored packaging, sugar coating, even mimicking real products is being sold right here in Arkansas. But it isn't medical marijuana. To me, like it's in a direct attempt to appeal towards a child. Around the same time medical marijuana was introduced in Arkansas, something else hit the market. It's commonly called Delta 8. And unlike the strict guidelines medical marijuana has to follow, Delta 8, derived from hemp, is completely unregulated. It can be sold at convenience stores and vape shops. There are no dosing requirements, and there is no age regulation law.
you're old enough to walk into the gas station, you got $10 from grandma for Christmas, uh, you can you can buy that product right there. Delta 8 also has no safety packaging requirements. You can see I'm able to rip right into it. Yep. The safety of a, of a child is number one. I sent pictures of these products to Arkansas Attorney General Tim Griffin. He says he was so alarmed, he immediately reached out to lawmakers. This has a frog character on the front. Wow. He gathered with State Representative David Ray and State Senator Justin Boyd this week to see the Delta 8 products in person. Lawmakers are currently in a legislative session. And that's one of the reasons I thought it would be good to have some lawmakers here uh, to, to see this. This is the first time I've seen this packaging. If desired, eat more and lift off into space. Yeah, that, that's not going to take them in space. That's going to take them in an ambulance. Senator Boyd, who is also a pharmacist, points to the state's controlled substances list, showing THC and any synthetic derivatives are already listed there. Some could argue Delta 8 is already banned, while others could argue Delta 8 or Delta 9 and other names aren't specifically listed. The health department has the ability to add or remove drugs to Arkansas's controlled substance list. I understand that the Department of Health is writing a clarification, not necessarily just a new rule altogether, but to clarify that what is on the current Schedule 6 list as the THC products includes what we're referring to as Delta 8 and, and Delta 9. But with so much confusion, should there be a law clearly banning these products? So I think that's the discussion that's been going on in the legislature right now, is how do we define this? How do we make it clear? Sometimes it helps put an exclamation point on the sentence when you get legislative action, which cannot... Again, doctors and law enforcement are all saying the products they're seeing are the out-of-state, enticing, colorful candy-like products not made here or sold in Arkansas medical marijuana dispensaries. Now, I'm told there will be legislation proposed at the Capitol in the coming days proposing to ban these Delta 8 THC products. And at its January 26th meeting, the Board of Health approved an amendment to add Delta 6A, Delta 8, Delta Delta 9 and Delta 10A to its list of controlled substances, but it doesn't take effect right away. There's a long rulemaking process to getting that finally approved, and that can take months. Alicia Dover, on your side tonight. Alicia, thanks so much.